Well... Noah, I took the liberty of putting together a little town development plan. Would you care to take a look? It takes a lot to make a town, you know. Building the facilities we need will be hard enough, but we'll also have to find the right people to run them. Oh, do come in! Done then? Stores for supplies are a given, but fields and farms would be nice too. If our population grows, we'll also need some entertainment. You can use this development tree to keep track of our progress. It'll be tough finding the right materials and the right people, but I'm sure that growing our town will make the Alliance stronger in the long run. So, you'd best get to it, yes? I have things to do, you know. Count me in! All right. Always ready to kick some ass! You've come to the right healer. Me? I do love traveling with you. Done then? Hi, Noah! The warehouse is finally starting to come together, so feel free to leave your junk with us. 
We'll watch it like hawks. What do you need? Come again now. Interesting.
Excuse me, have you seen a girl around? Fourteen years old, long black hair? Her name's Marin. I'm sorry, I haven't. Is she in some kind of danger? She's my little sister. She usually stays at home, but she left a note saying she'd gone into the woods to look for herbs. Oh, I expected her back by now, but there's still no sign of her. I can't help but worry that something bad's happened. Okay, I understand. I'll help you find her. Huh? You will? Yeah, she could be in trouble, right? Thanks. I really appreciate that. Marin's got a knack for finding herbs. Pretty rocks and such. So she's probably near one of the forest's foraging spots. I'll show you the way. Follow me! Don't be stupid. Not str She usually does her foraging around here, but I don't see any sign of her. I don't get it. I've told her over and over not to go deeper into the forest. Our parents have passed, so it's just the two of us now. I'm the one who's meant to look out for her, but she's... I can imagine exactly what you're going through right now. I lost my parents, too. And now, my sister's all I have left. Oh yeah? I guess we're in the same boat. Yeah, my sister's the adventurous type. I take my eyes off her for a second and she's already run off somewhere. She's obsessed with hunting down the mysteries of antiquity. And, needless to say, that leads to no end of trouble. <laughs> then I guess you really do know exactly how I feel. 
Something tells me you and I will get along. But that's a discussion for after we find Marin. Let's go search somewhere else. here either. She must have ventured further in. But why? There are monsters in the heart of the forest. We should hurry. Yeah, let's go. Glad to see you. Wyler! I, I was so scared. How many times have I told you not to go into the heart of the forest alone? But you got hurt yesterday, and the herbs that would make you feel better don't grow nearby. Ah, uh, you noticed that? I didn't want to worry you. Silly goose. Keeping so quiet about it made it all the more obvious. It's Noah, right? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Is there any way I can repay you? Well, actually... Hmm. I'd heard about the Empire. But I assumed that was all happening someplace far away. Now it sounds like it's about to become our problem. I don't know if I could protect Marin if war came to our forest. Noah, I want to join your alliance. Join us. Thanks. 
My name is Wyler, and when it comes to archery, I don't miss. You'll be glad to have my bow on your side. I'll make sure of that. Then I'm coming too. Whoa, there. You can't... Look, if you're going to be all I never miss and get yourself hurt again, then you'll need my herbs to feel better, just like you always do. And I bet I could help others with my remedies too. You know it's true, Wyler. Well, I mean, if you promise to stay out of danger. Thanks. My name's Marin, and I'm good at finding herbs and pretty stones. While my brother's looking out for you, I'll look after him. for you, hmm? I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. Did you want something? I'm looking for companions to help expand our new town. Oh, a new town. I like the sound of that. How much fun would it be to just bang out one new house after another? Oof, sounds like a project that'd really get these chopping arms pumping. So the question is, can I depend on you? Okay, I'll tell you what, champ. I'll teach you the ways of the woods, and then you'll get out there and grab 20 pieces of lumber for me. I'm not gonna work with anyone who isn't willing to get their hands dirty and their backs sweaty, you know? You clear on how this works? Huh? Then chop, chop!
You will keep me safe, yes? Try me. Okie doke. Out of here. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Try me. Someone put in a hard day's work. Huh. Now that I get a good look at you, those aren't the soft hands of a slacker. Yep, I could depend on a guy with boar hide like yours. Join us. And I will get a lot done working together. My name's Karen. Great to know ya.
Interesting. Try me. Okie doke. Can I help you, perhaps? I'll work even harder now. Why, thank you. Well then,
I have things to do, you know. Done then? Right away.
done. Not a hair out of place. Stronger, but not strong enough. Opportunity to this. Resorting to violence. Okey doke.
nice, smooth hunt. Yes? Come useful. back a lot. about you. Well, now that I've seen you hale and hearty with my own eyes, I have so much news from home. You remember Nalar from the house behind us? Well, she had her baby and oh boy, was that ever a hullabaloo. Whole village threw a big celebration. Took me right back to when you and Lean were born. Oh, memories. Shame you had to miss it, but don't forget to drop in and wish her well next time you're home. That's just good manners. Aunt Martha, I can't believe you're here. How's the village? Oh, repairs are moving along just fine, don't you fret. You recall how handy Aless is, right? Well, he's been going around fixing up a right storm. Man's a force of nature. Oh, and Millie, you remember Millie, right? Well, that little darling is all grown up, and she's apparently taken quite a shine to somebody. Anyway, it's only right that we fix the two of them up. Know any matchmakers around here who could help? Um... Oh, and what's this I hear about you becoming some kind of big fancy leader? My little Noah, moving up in the world. Well, you're going to need all the support you can get, which is why I've decided to work here on the farm. Can't fight on an empty stomach, you know. Auntie, please, slow down. I can't... Up, up, up. Not one more word from you, mister. From this day forward, I'm putting my nose to the grindstone just for you. Oh, and if you think your meddling is impressive, wait until you see the table groaning under all of my delicious food. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Where do you keep your farm tools? I'll need seeds, a watering can, a, a wheelbarrow, some string. Hmm. 
Yes, sir. It's time to roll up my sleeves. Now, you get on with your own work, Noah. Don't pretend you're not busy on my account. Hello there, Noah. Welcome to my inn. Or what will serve as one until we return to Eltisvice. I'll make sure it's a place of comfort and joy for all. Yup, this place is starting to look pretty good. Well, I'm not resting on my laurels just yet. I promised Perry I'd do my best, after all. Oh, for sure. If we keep at it, this place is gonna be amazing! Problem. Oh, she ran off again. She who? Oh, no, you don't mean people be. Oh. Hey, Pooby. Sadly, this is not Pooby appreciation time. The luckiest girl alive is getting smiled upon and living for antiquity again. Rather reckless of her, don't you think? <laughs> sure is. She might even give you a run for your money. Meaning what exactly? You heard me. Anyway, let's go. Wave and the Grand Warden are discussing what to do, and we should join them. All right. Marissa, the Grand Warden, remember? We really need to talk to the Grand Warden. The girl's on thin ice as it is.
Morris. Marissa We really need to talk to the girl. Oh, there you are, Marissa. Is it true she took off again, wife? Kobe? Mm-hmm. No warning. Same as when she first got here. From what I gather, she heard Primal Lens and Treefolk Village in the same sentence, and then poof! Gone. It's my fault. I'm the one who told her. She had this glimmer in her eyes when she asked. Uh, don't blame yourself. Someone was bound to let it slip eventually. So what shall we do about this? As I recall, Wave, you promised to watch over her. Do you consider this watching? I was careless, Grand Warden. I'll handle it. I'm sorry, Wave. You shouldn't have to apologize when she's my responsibility. When did I apologize? Oh, back there. Eh, doesn't count. I didn't use the word sorry. Guess being around Marissa is making me pretty good at fake apologies. <laughs> hey! Anyway, something's eating at me. You heard how they found that primal lens up north, right? And how there's now some kind of war brewing? Might be time the Guardians rethought their place in the world. That strikes me as quite the leap. Yeah, 
Probably. Forget I said anything. Right now, you need to drag your friend home. Shouldn't take you too long if she's a Treefold Village. The only thing faster than me in the woods is the wind. Don't worry, I'll bring her back. I don't care how lucky she thinks she is. Cool, babe. I'm coming with you. Me too. I know the way. Montagging along, Guru? Why? Think they'll need a little extra muscle? Uh, muscle never hurts. Fair enough. Don't worry, baby girl. Dad'll be back at your side before you can blink. Just gotta help Marissa collect a wayward friend is all. Fine. I wish to succeed in this task, Marissa. You and Lean are my very first friends. I do not want anything to happen to you. I know, Nell. All right, then. Lead the way. Morning, Noah! Up and at him! I know I'm raring to go! just broke into the castle! What's going on here? We caught this monster sneaking through the castle, Noah. Wait a sec. Monster, really? Noah, stop! Don't hurt him! What's the matter, Sumire? He's one of the tree folk! Don't you see that? That's gotta be tough. Cassandra told me a little bit about them. You are right there. I'm sorry we frightened you. Cree. Th thank you. Don't you worry. The people here will treat you kindly. Right, Noah? Of course. What brings you here? How can we help? I see. So, essentially, he... 
Uh, it is he, correct? I, sir. And I've a name. Calathor. So, essentially, he wandered out of the Treefolk village because he was fascinated by the outside world, then got lost. Most Treefolk are born deep in the forest and spend their entire lives close to home. That makes you quite the intrepid adventurer, Calathor. Hi, madam. I saw many things on my journey. I... I never would have known the sky was so vast had I not left home. But now... But now... Now I wish to return home. I must tell the others of what I have seen. Do you think it would be all right if we... Escorted him home? Yeah, that's probably for the best. Don't want anyone else mistaking him for a monster. What I don't understand is that he said he came from the Southwest. Yet I know of no roads in that direction. Probably because he used the... Oh. What do you call them? Shade trails? Aye, madam. We ask the forest to hide our steps. Yet, the shade trail will open for you if we travel together. <laughs> Let's go check it out! Want to be helpful? I'll give it my all. You've come to the right healer. You got it. Travel safe. Do this! Yeah! 
That doesn't even count as exercise. Stronger, but not strong enough. Is this the place? Hmm. Is this how we get inside? Please leave this next part to me. So you use a lens for this? I. The lens allows we and the forest to become one. Have you no similar custom? It's the first I've heard of it. Fascinating. Well, let us be on our way. I will guide you to the village. Tis tree folk tradition to welcome friends with open branches. Ha! <laughs> I hear that. My village is big on hospitality, too. Time to hunt. Would be more difficult. I still have so much to learn. It's unusual to meet strangers this deep in the wood. Were you hoping to make camp here? Oh, no. Just passing through. What are you doing here? At the moment, warming myself by this fire. I suppose that goes without saying. My name's Giran. You won't have heard of me. As mages go, I'm not even worthy of a footnote. I lean toward practical, wieldy magic. By definition, the magical arts defy reality, and yet there's an expression. The mystical and the mundane are two sides of the same coin. To me, it's more than a saying. It's what I seek to epitomize. And that's why I'm out here, bettering myself as both a survivalist and a mage. Wow. That's so inspiring. <laughs> inspiring? You're the first to say that. Hmm? It's 
it's all right. We both know that if you want to be a mage, you need to master the mystic arts. No two ways about it. The truth is, I wasn't born with the talent. And since I can't compete with those who have it, I've made up for it through hard work and years of study. Still, I think there are potential applications in the world for the way I approach magic. If you can't compete in the market, create a new market, right? Makes sense. Although, you hardly look like someone who's lacking for talent. <laughs> nice of you to say. Still, I came to this land looking for something. And half a year later, I'm no closer to finding it. It's called the Rune of Conservation. They say monsters are more likely to have it out here in the world's harsher, less survivable places. Well, why don't I help you look? You? Oh, I, I wouldn't dream of asking. I know, but now that I've heard your tale, I want to help. And once I get that idea in my head... <laughs> well, if, if you're sure, then I'll take you up on the offer. What's your name? Noah. All right, Noah. Let me know if you find that rune of conservation. The object I'm looking for is called a rune of conservation. I was led to believe the monsters here might yield one. I
do this! Try this! Ah! We're done here! That doesn't even count as exercise! Just hate resorting to violence. Lens! Whoa! Here we go. Come on! Let's try this. Ah! So long. And stay the hell down. Oh, excuse me. What's this weird-looking thing? Nasa! Don't touch it! Did that thing launch us? I have to be brave.
but not strong enough.
Jiren, look what I found. This is a rune of conservation, right? I don't believe it. Thank you. This will be a great help to my studies. I might even be able to make these boots I thought up to produce levitational power. It's this idea I've been kicking around. Ooh, with your boots? How long has that zinger been knocked? Sorry. Search in vain long enough, and your idle brain starts to concoct some horrific material. Anyway, thanks for the help. The way you made short work of it, you must be an experienced adventurer. If you don't mind, could I join you in your travels? By way of thanks, of course. You have a place with us. Excellent. Then Garen and his unique brand of magic are at your service. Shouldn't we just let them go? Sorry, friends. You can count on me. Let me heal you. doesn't even count as exercise. I have to be brave. There. I'll kill you. Thank you. Not doing good here. Come on. There. there. Take it easy. One. That's what you get. We still have so much to learn.
Are we here? Aye, sir. Tis my village. I cannot wait to introduce you to everyone. Not one more step, cowards! What? What? Come and say that to my face or I'm gonna come over there and tear yours clean off! Identify yourselves. You sure it's them? Cause they don't look like imps to me. Wait, you think we're Imperials? Nay, stop! These are my guests! They saved me! Calathor, you have returned! And just in time! Why? What has happened? The Dendriarch! Someone has... You must come see! Quickly! So who are you then? You don't look like tree folk. I'm Marissa. We're guardians. Our duty is to protect the rune barrows in the Great Wood. We came here to track down a friend who bit off more than she could chew. Found all this instead. Sorry for the false accusation. That's all right. You had no way to know. Also, this is our first time here, so technically we are outsiders. Who's this friend of yours? Ooh, a real piece of work. Maybe all you northerners are her speed? She's got this thing she says. I live for antiquity! Huh? Oh, and what's her other thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the runes, runes smile on me because I'm the luckiest girl alive. alive! Wait, you know Lean? She's my little sister. What? Dendriach! Don't worry. The healing magic has taken hold. Lilowin! How is she, Elwi? Resting. She pushed herself too hard this time. I'm sorry about all this, Marissa. It's hard to believe my sister is involved, but from what you said, it has to be her. I'm just glad she's safe. Uh-huh. Then you must be the brother she mentioned who can't keep his nose out of other people's business. she was spot on with that assessment. Huh? You came all the way out to Treefolk Village because you just had to help, right? Oh, <laughs> she's got you pegged all right. The Dendriac told me what transpired. And? The rogues who attacked him were after the rune of proven verdure, a treasure bequeathed to the Dendriarch. 
Is that the one that... Aye, tis related to what you call rune barrows, which we tree folk know as the Proving Grounds. demand a little more proving. After you, my Imperial Minion. Not a chance. Now, are you going to use that thing we stole, or just lug it around? Impressive! If we play this right, the second primal lens will soon be ours. Just imagine the powers it will confer! His mightiness will be most pleased indeed. <laughs> the Dukes doesn't want powers, just a bigger scepter. Oh, <laughs> true. But also such an ugly way of putting it. Shall we carry on, my lady of the Conclave? The path is yet long. So you think they're targeting the Barrows? The Proving Grounds, aye. They stole the Dendriarch's rune so they might bypass the trials put in place to keep non-treefolk at bay. Yet that self-same rune is what preserves the Dendriarch's life without it. Will you aid us, brave guardian? Don't worry. I'll capture those rogues and get your rune back. Protecting the Barrows is a guardian's duty, after all. Count me in, too. This whole rummaging around the Barrows thing has the name of a certain imp I know written all over it. Are we? You in? Wish I could say yes, but... It's okay. Stay with Lilowen. Probably best you're here in case the attackers strike again anyway. Noah, can Lean's meddling brother be talked into joining? Don't have to twist my arm. I've got a sinking feeling we're gonna find her there. Yes. These proving grounds sound like something she'd be very interested in. So, we agreed on joining forces? Works for me, mate. Who? Who me? Follow me, if you would. I will lead the way to the proving grounds. Let's go, Pooby. Hey. 
See you later.
Follow this path to the Proving Grounds. Go with them, Kalathor. Without the rune, they will need a tree fork to guide them through the trials. The Dendriak asked it be you. He chose me. Truly. Kindly look after Kalathor. I am told the Proving Grounds trials can be quite vexing. Hmm, so they say. But I know a fair bit about the Barrows. I'll get us through. Guardian, check. Nosy but capable outsider, check. Yep, we're good. You ready, Kalthor? Aye, sir. Now this part I'm good at. Am I supposed to be scared? What? This is it. The Rune Barrow slash Proving Grounds. Aye. They look just like the stories. Tree folk come here to seek the blessing of the lens. The Dendriar himself overcame these trials before setting down his eternal roots. Blessing of the lens, huh? No one is certain why the Rune Barrows were created. Some, like the ones here, serve as tests. Others are designed to conceal secrets. And nearly all the Barrows are rigged with tricks and contraptions that draw from some kind of Rune Lens. You sure know your stuff. What did you call yourself again? A Guardian? Yes. We Guardians exist to study and explore the Barrows, and protect them from defilement at all costs. <laughs> Can't have scoundrels digging through them for golden treasure now, can we? That'd be real bad. I was born in their cradle, and raised to be their protector. 
And what I love most about the Barrows is that certain crackle in the air. Sounds like Lean's not the only one who lives for antiquity. <laughs> Perhaps. Except for me, the Barrows are my second love. Dessert comes first. But that's enough time wasted. See these marks? The store has been moved, which means our prey is inside. Calthor, if you would. Aye, very well. This marks the beginning of the trials. Do tread carefully, sirs and madams. Noah, sir! The way has opened! Yeah, it looks like the floor switches can be used to move the doors. Rotated. Everything went topsy turvy. Maybe we can spin things around to link together a path. to be scared. to be scared. see a way for us to reach the back. Could be there's another switch somewhere else. Ha! <laughs> 
I just hate resorting to violence. Am I supposed to be scared? That's what you get! I still have so much to learn! I just hate resorting to violence. Am I supposed to Here be scared? You okay? Thank you so <sighs> much. Am I supposed to be scared? to be skilled. Yeah, huh. Last one! I had way too much fun with that. Supposed to be scared. This is bad. Oh. Suck it. Am I supposed to be scared? would be more difficult. I still have so much to learn!
Did we just trigger something? Perhaps some new devices are working now.
I have to be brave. Am I supposed to be scared? to be scared. You never stood a chance against this training. That's what you get. Now this part I'm good at. Here's a little guardian arcana.
Any last words? Here's a little guardian arcana. a chance against this training. I had way too much fun with that. I am grateful for any opportunity. I have to be brave.
I have to be brave. Piece of cake. It's my duty to keep getting stronger.
Now this part I'm good at. Difficult. Looks like there's a switch through this hole. There's no way we're squeezing through. What about me? Let me try! C courage Calathor! There is nothing to be scared of. Is he gonna be okay? On we go, on we go. It's free 
freezing in here. If I do not make haste, my branches will stiffen and snap. Be brave, Calathor. The Dendriarch is counting on you. Go faster, you stump! You are keeping the sirs and madams waiting! Hmm... What is this cord? I will give it a pull! Enemies! What do I do? I know! I will hide in this box! I did it! I have reached the switch! Were you okay in there? I heard a scream. Isa, everything was just fine. Come, there is no time to lose. Now this part aren't good at. Here's a little guardian arcana. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, come on! What you get? Guys. Heads up! A rune golem? It's... it's massive. Huh? It's not moving. Is it dead? Now what? <sighs> I have a very bad feeling about this. Weapons up.
I have to be brave. for that. I still have so much to learn. Are we there yet? Feels like we're about as far up these ruins rear end as a fella can go. Shh. Did you hear that? Ha <laughs> ha! Cut you with your pants down! I know that voice. Lean! Lean!
I don't know who you are supposed to be, but that's ours, and we'll be taking it back! Now! You're Schmores! You stole it from the tree folk, and now I'm stealing it back! What you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing! That's what! <sighs> Kill her! Any final nuggets of cleverness you'd like to share? Uh, just one. The runes smile on me, cause I'm the luckiest girl alive! So you best skedaddle before reinforcements- Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're right behind you! What? It seems the luckiest girl alive has run out of fortune. Dang it! What the? Oh my gosh, look! They really are behind you! <laughs> Come now. You don't really expect me to... Lean! You in here? There! Look! Come here, you pest! I need a hostage! Uh, no! Nah! -uh. You stay back! Happening to me. Ugh. I don't know, but those reinforcements she wished for are coming this way. Come on, Marissa, let's get them. You! You're the monster who attacked my village! Sorry, have we met? I've done a lot of terrible things in my day, and all the despondent faces tend to blur together. How about my face, then? Oh, I never forget a traitor. Or a tailed freak. And now I see you're wagging that disgusting appendage for the League. I should have expected no less from a half-breed. The hatred's mutual, fathead. <laughs> you bothered to chase us all this way? What dull lives you must lead. Who let a damn mask in here? If you're slinging that epithet around, you must be a guardian. Well, you can unwrinkle your scowl. We found no primal lens here. Shut up! You're nothing but a thief and a marauder. This is like multiple fated encounters all at once. That lean kid really does have luck by the short and curlies. The only way you worthless sacks of skin will slip away is on a puddle of your own clotting blood! <laughs> As if the dregs of the League could ever defeat me! Any last words? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you will see!
need to heal. to these weaklings and a bunch of their pet animals. You're coming with us. You sullied the watch's name, and now you're gonna help us clear it. You too, Mask. Sorry, love, but the Conclave of the Dawn keeps a busy schedule, and you're not on it. No. You wouldn't dare. What's she doing? Farewell, my Imperial minion. It's been fun. As for you, my young guardian, well, I feel certain we will meet again. No! Stop! Um. <laughs> Why, that slimy two-faced traitor! <laughs> Looks like you'll be facing the music alone, mate. March, brigand! Hop, hop, hop! What's wrong, Kalthor? I feel as if someone calls to me. What do you mean? 
I, I am not certain. It's not a voice, more a feeling. Proven verger. I thought Lean ran off with that. Uh, unless this is a different one. Maybe the Barrows were waiting for you. Waiting? We Guardians believe every Barrows is waiting for the right someone at the right time. In this case, I think that might be you. And it's a Guardian's duty to protect the Barrows until that crucial moment. Waiting. So they were waiting for me insane too? What do you mean you got the rune back? That girl had it when she emerged from the Proving Grounds. Lean? Well, I'm glad she's all right. Although I kind of figured as much, honestly. Then what is this rune I have? Come closer, Kalathor. Treefolk believe it is right to cherish the old and cling fast to traditions of yore. The Dendriarch believes that is why this rune was bestowed on you, for you are drawn to the outside world and all things new. You alone can lead the Treefolk down a different path. But how can... Old things can be good or ill, just as new things can be good or ill. But you never know what you have until you experience what is missing. The Dendriarch wishes you to venture into the great unknown, so we might all cherish the old that much better. Then I am permitted to leave. It is what he desires, yes. All right. You saved me, the Dendriarch, and all the tree folk, and I am ever so grateful. Do you think I might come with you? I would like to help. I like that, Calthor. So, what about Lean? <gasps> Lean! Is she still here? I was wondering why we haven't seen her. Aye, about that. After returning the rune to the Dendriarch, she took off in quite the rush, said something about having big things to do. <sighs> well, maybe we should return to our village. Lean might try and make her way there. If I see her, Noah, I'll tell her to seek you out. That's what you want, right? If you wouldn't mind. Stop! Who are you? Where did you come from? Another raider! What?
Noah! Wow, I didn't expect to find you here. Talk about your crazy luck. The spy Hurstwine is enjoying the comforts of one of our cells. Now I would hear from you, Sabine. If you're safe, I trust the Lady Periel is as well. You don't gotta worry. Me, the Lady, and that butler fellow went east before crossing the desert south into Eucharist. Periel said she's on friendly terms with their king and that he'd help her out. But I thought we agreed to meet here. The lady said you and Emir could hold down the fort, which gave her a chance to, and I quote, take the initiative. <laughs> Sounds like her, all right. Ah, <sighs> yes. It most certainly does. Thing is, while we made it to you, Chris, the negotiations ain't going so hot. So, she sent me here to fetch a little help. You crossed the Great Wood by yourself. Madness. Well, we live in mad times. Also, I had a little help from someone in you, Chris, who knows the route. King Yuma Shirith and Lady Periel have known each other since they were children. But though you, Chris, was the first nation we reached out to before the Battle of Eltisvice, reinforcements never arrived. Near as I can tell, the Yuma kid wants to help. But he ain't the most forceful sort, and he's surrounded by nervous pillow sitters who don't want to get on the Empire's bad side. with the jerk faces who invaded Altus Vice? The Empire has been selling a different story. They claim the invasion was in response to border violations committed by House Groom. Besides, the League of Nations is hardly a monolith. Just a bunch of little fish all looking out for number one. Regardless, Perry's counting on us, so we should head for you, Chris. Perry? Uh, I mean, Periel. You know, the lady? Lady Periel? Better. I can show you the way. Won't even gripe about how I just got back from the place. But first, we need to pop by the Tree Folk Village. Oh, oh, pick me! You gotta pick me! I'll smack some sense into those Empire-loving dummies. hi yup. Would the provisional leader and oh, fantastic captain be so kind as to select the rest of his traveling companions? Do all I can. You coming too, Sabine? You want me to what now? <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Concerned as I am, I'd best stay and manage things here. Can I trust you to look after our benefactor? Her ladyship, Countess Periel. Got it. Thank you. And yes.
in a building mood, are we? A charming space we've made. We'll do good work here. Oh, spectacular! Utterly spectacular! What an incredible achievement! Oh, where are my manners? My name is Kron, and I'm with the Achievement Society. Uh, our organization publicly recognizes those who have done remarkable things. In fact, I am going to recognize your incredible achievement right now with a nice, sparkly medal. Why, just watch how much fun this is. Here we go. Now, on behalf of the society, I'll be opening a branch office right here in town. So, if you achieve, don't forget to stop by and receive. I mean, who even knows what you'll accomplish next? Not me! So, let's see. If we're headed to the Tree Folk Village, we want to head across the South Bridge and then Southwest, yeah? Yep. Once we reach the village, I'll guide you the rest of the way.
where's the challenge? There! So it's back to the Tree Folk Village. I know already! Can't we just like pursue there somehow? Like with a rune lens. A rune lens of pursuing! I know rune lenses adapt their power to a wielder's talents, but I don't know anybody who can use pursuing. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Looks like we're hoofing it.
The gray branches bid you free passage. Go in peace. Soon these toes will be on you, Christian soil. <laughs> Improvement.
We've reached the border of Eucris. So, where is Perry? Sorry, who? Uh, sorry, Lady Periel. Where can we find her? The Eucrisian capital, Haishan. It's on the coast east of here. Okay, let's get moving! Exercise. Nice. I can feel the improvement. Just scream! Look at me! Drink me up! And this necklace? Amazing! I think I'll buy one of these for that yummy little mignon I met earlier. I just love a town that's thriving! The shops are always dripping with the latest clothes, the latest accessories, the tools, the traps. And the eye candy ain't so bad either. Am I right or am I really right? Hmm. Um, hi. Oh no, I did it again. Blasted a boy into silence with my stunning good looks. It's okay, you're allowed to speak to me. Wait, aren't you the Alliance's commander? Noah, right? 
You've heard of me? Of course I have. Who do you think I am? I don't know. Ah, of course. Mea culpa, scusi. The name is Pastol, but you can call me Pastol, hunter with the most game. You want game? That's amazing. Where's your rifle? Rifle? Oh, perish the disgusting thought. Like I'd allow the stink of gunpowder on these clothes. So you use a crossbow? Or a knife, maybe? That's a nuh -uh to crossbows. Way too heavy, and they chafe my back. You might catch me using a knife, maybe? Okay. How then? Traps, mister. I trap those honey bunnies, and then I move in and slay them, if you catch my driftwood. It's not a question of if Pastole gets you. It's a question of when, and possibly how often. Buongiorno, my little mignone. What the heck? Phew, I think they were in a bad mood. I'll try again later. Is that your usual style? Style? Oh, my clothes! Aren't they fab? They turn all the heads. Good for luring game, too. I have absolutely sashayed a boar into a bear trap. Impressive. Your takeaway here should be that A, Pastol's traps are astonishingly unique, and B, with those traps, Pastol hooks a lot of meat. Sound like someone you'd find useful? Welcome to the ranks. That's my Noah. One squeezy hug for you! I assume I'm pointed in the general direction of your castle. I'll see you there. Ready or not, minions, pastoles are coming!
Let's do this! Done here. That's what you get. Nice. I can feel the improvement. Sean. Sure is. I'm guessing we'll find Lady Periel either at the palace or the inn. The inn? She booked the biggest room they had. Didn't want to stay at the palace in case the walls had ears. Gotcha. Then let's go find her. Did you just materialize out of thin air? Did I miss what? Miscalculate? How dare you! That's not at all what I said. You listen to me, Buster. I don't make mistakes because I'm perfect with a sparkly, pristine capital P. Whatever you think you saw, you didn't. It's more like it. Don't you ever question a paragon.
How's that? The Alliance seeks to hire a culinary mind. Huh, hmm, yes, an intriguing thought. Alas, I'm already on a mission to find a recipe for the legendary dish known as Grilled Tatuva. I'm told the people who devised it are all bark and, um... Well, that's it, actually. All bark. Whatever could that be referring to? I must find that grill to t Again. Really? I hope you're not following me. Of course not. But are you alright? That looks like a nasty... I didn't fall. You skinned your knee. Look. I didn't fall, okay? So... Oh, yeah. That's... That's pretty gross. to me. My teleportation is flawless. I'm flawless, okay? Impervious to error, which means you didn't see a thing, all right?
All right. Of course you didn't, because I don't make mistakes. Okay, but... So this is where Peri- uh, where Lady Periel is staying? I have had it up to here with the local aristocracy! It's as though they think of nothing but themselves! Milady, perhaps you might lower your voice? Ugh, why bother? If there are spies afoot, I will happily scream my thoughts into their ears! Ask yourselves this, spies! Which do your masters value more? Their country, or their personal wealth? Now come, Janquis! Noah! Sabine! Impeccable timing. It's good to see you safe, Perry. And why wouldn't I be? I had my secret passage, remember? Now then, I understand you're doing a fine job with my resistance army. Tell me everything. So that's what you're calling the castle now? You like it? A passable name, I suppose. Milady, I believe it's time. Ah, indeed it is. Noah, come with me. We'll be joining a conference between King Yuma and his Chamber of Lords, strictly as observers, I'm afraid. But I still wish for you and the others to attend me. Save for Jenquis and Sabine, who shall remain here and set up a means to communicate with Emir back at Castle... Castle... Uh, castle whatever. Can't imagine anything more boring than a council, so glad to be counted out. If I must. Not to question you, milady, but would you not prefer me at your side? Do not treat me like a child, Jane Quest. Now, relay my dinner order to the kitchen as we discussed. Uh, and tell the cook to use a little spice this time. Sorry. Where are we going, exactly? To the palace! It's on the north side of town! Welcome, Countess Perio. You may enter. My thanks. on the table for this big shindig. 
A letter has arrived from Dukes Aldric, in which he proposes a new relationship between you, Chris, and Galdia. Which I take to mean leaving the League of Nations and joining the Empire side. Betray the League? What kind of scoundrel would agree to that? Listen to you! You've the fire of a resistance leader already! And you'll soon see for yourself what manner of scoundrel would scheme such a thing. Pray excuse our tardiness. Ah, oh, there you are, Periel. We're just, uh... Well, it's good of you to come. Right this way, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Ah, Countess Groom. You must be quite the important woman indeed to keep His Majesty waiting. No, no, it's all right. I promised her I'd wait, and, uh... Nevertheless, permit me to remind you of your position. You have been invited here to observe, and only to observe. And who, pray tell, are these people? My humblest apologies, Lord Harlan. If I may, Your Majesty. I would like to present Commander Noah, the young founder of the Resistance Army. Or, nay, founder of the Alliance, a group which seeks to defend the League of Nations from Imperial invasion. A Resistance Army, is it? Um, well, I, I don't... And let me present myself! I'm Leon, and I'm basically his second-in-command. An alliance? Well, that sounds most prompt. Ahem! Let us move on to the matter at hand, Your Majesty. Dukes Aldric of the Galdian Empire seeks an alliance with us and we must decide if we will accept his terms or no. I believe the Dukes to be a rising star within the Empire, and think there is much we could learn from his bold leadership. I see this offer as a major opportunity for you, Chris. Especially compared to some up-jumped mercenary and whomever else comprises his alliance. Are you mad? This is the same brazen tyrant who invaded Groom! His true intentions could not be more obvious! Countess Groom! May I remind you that you are an observer here and nothing more! I expect you to restrain yourself in the presence of His Majesty. Ugh. Sorry, Periel. Um, but Lord Harlan, I think, uh, well, maybe there might be some merit to what Countess Groom has to say. Ah, but this is distressing indeed, Your Majesty. You know I have worked tirelessly for you, Chris, ever since your father sat the throne. Yes. I have long been one of House Sharith's most faithful servants, and yet now you claim to have no faith in my perspective? Never mind that House Fallmire nearly beggared itself to support this country in its year of famine. Take heart, Lord Harlan. 
King Yuma knows well both our family's loyalty to the realm. I am sure he did not mean to dismiss your many great deeds. No! Of course not. We should act in due haste to inform Dukes Aldrich that we agree to his terms. Hold on! Now hold on! You're just gonna surrender to him without a fight? <laughs> ah, such ignorance speaks volumes about you, boy. No one is saying anything of the sort. Dukes Aldrich has kindly extended to us the hand of friendship and unity. If you would speak of war, then tell me what guarantee we have that Eucris's army would prevail. We cannot permit our great nation to fall while under your majesty's watch. Y yes, but... Cassius? You need only to give the order, your majesty. And I shall battle the Empire with everything I can muster. And what then, General Cassius? Can you promise us victory? Can you guarantee His Majesty that we will emerge triumphant? <sighs> the Galdian Empire is more than just Dukes Aldrich. They have the renowned General Goldwyn as well. I would be a poor military man indeed to assure ultimate victory. There! Do you see? No assurances. And if General Goldwyn were faced with our General Cassius, would he promise the Empire victory? What? It's a fair question, don't you think? Even the best generals know there are no guarantees on the battlefield. And in fact, they likely know this fact best of all. Of course, all I know of the matter is what I've read in books. General Cassius, however, speaks from decades of experience. But perhaps, Lord Harlan, you have another opinion? Do you believe our esteemed General Cassius is guaranteed to lose? Uh, well, I... Well, Harlan? No! No, of course I don't believe that! But this argument is mere sophistry. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Melridge, you were summoned here to draft our reply once this matter was settled, not to sow doubt in His Majesty with rhetorical nonsense! Quite right, quite right. I do apologize for any confusion I may have caused. That said, there is still time before Dukes Eldrick will expect our reply, and His Majesty seems exhausted. Shall we table the matter for today? But... Your Majesty! Oh, um... Yes, I think so. Let's give it a little more time before we decide. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? It's been an entire week of that. Ah, uh, but aren't you and the king supposed to be friends? Groom and you, Chris, have enjoyed favorable relations for generations. And I visited many times as a child. 
We are acquaintances of old, but I would not go so far as to say friends. Eucris, you see, is one of the three great powers of the League, along with Norstar and the Dragon Newt Nation of Kinon. My little groom is of minor significance in comparison. Nevertheless, I am told that at the untimely death of Yuma's father, the Queen hid herself away in grief. And now, Yuma has come to ascend the throne. He and I come from very similar circumstances. Yet you have such different personalities. Hmm? Uh, yes, well, even as a child, Yuma was never very decisive. You think maybe he's afraid to defy that Harlan guy? To be fair, the previous king was quite beholden to Harlan. That is why the man was first given his station. A station he has leveraged for all it's worth. <sighs> anyway, we should not tarry here long before returning to the inn. I have no desire to run into Harlan again. Wanna poke around a little until it's time to go? Uh, you're the fellow from the Alliance, right? Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh, ha happened to catch that one little part. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oops. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um, please don't think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but they've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and he worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. been we should return to the inn at once so i can continue brooding about a solution to this problem do you think there even is a solution well i guess we could wait no sorry i got nothing countess periel his Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please, enter. Hello, Periel. 
I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits, instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. Your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? I rose up to stop the Empire. You don't say. Not for me? Oh, such a pity. Huh? But never mind that, Yuma. Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, you Chris will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse! At the Dukes. But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Dukes made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still talk it out? <sighs> uh, your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh, is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grum, Commander Noah, I bid you both good day. Ugh, same old Yuma. He never changes. We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people! Ideas! Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. Hmm... Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard.
<laughs> what's this place? Guests, is it? How unusual. I remember you from the conference earlier. Please, come in, come in. I see, I see. You seek some method of swaying His Majesty. But why would you bring this matter to me? Because you were the one who stood up to Harlan at the conference. Uh, yep, you were all like, but riddle me this, jerk, and then everyone got distracted and nothing was settled. <laughs> yes, I suppose I did do something along those lines. I admit to being less than thrilled with the prospect of giving Lord Harlan free reign to transform our relationship with the Empire. Agreed. We cannot permit Dukes Aldrich to have his way on this. Lord Harlan has been advocating for cuts to the studium. Should he gain too much power, I might find it hard to continue living in the comfort to which I've become accustomed. So you're just in it for yourself? Correct. Not that merely whittling away Lord Harlan's power will change much in the long run. Your name is Noah, yes? Well, there may be a way to change things if a person was so inclined. Countess. Did you know Lord Harlan purchased an old manor on the outskirts of town last year from another member of the Chamber of Lords? He's apparently so fond of it that he made it his primary residence. Well, bully for him. What of it? I hear the manor has recently seen quite the stream of unfamiliar faces hailing from foreign lands. I wonder if some might be messengers from the Empire. At the same time, security around the manor has been tightened to the extent that actual Eucrisians are rarely allowed inside. So, uh, this matters why? He's implying that Lord Harlan bought a manor on the outskirts of town in order to meet secretly with foreign agents. That's fishy, all right. And one more thing. On the southeast side of Haishan, you'll find an old part of the city known as Lost Town, which was flooded out long ago. While Harlan's house of mystery may be under tight guard, one could easily slip in by way of Lost Town, were they so inclined. How do you know all that? Oh, I've been poking around for holes in the man's armor for some time now. This guy is incorrigible. So, you're suggesting we sneak into Harlan's manor and search for evidence linking him to the Empire? I'm suggesting that if one were to find such evidence, it could be a breakthrough in terms of the pending alliance negotiations. While I am not fond of proposing tenuous plans, sometimes needs must. Tenuous certainly beats sitting on a sofa and doing nothing. Be aware that Lost Town is said to be infested with monsters. Anyone heading there should take all necessary precautions. We'll be careful. Thanks. He said Lost Town is on the southeast side of the city, yes? 
<laughs> yup. Now let's go dig up some dirt on Harlan. Yeah. Let's see how noble he feels when we're done with him. I think you might be losing sight of our objective here. This must be Lost Town. Lost is putting it mildly. The heck happened here? There was a terrible disaster years and years ago. It was long before my time, so I don't know the details. So if we make our way through this place, we'll be able to sneak into Harlan's Manor? Uh, yep. Or that's what Professor Smarty Pants said, at least. I feel a little stronger. see a way forward easily slip in my foot the good scholar needs to get his facts straight 
If anyone has a plan, do speak up. We've got to figure something out here. I'm thinking of we need to look for outside help here, guys. We can't do this on our own. Let's do this! Do this. What? I'll heal you. Exercise. I feel a little stronger. Excuse me, sir, but we went to Lost Town and found the way blocked. Oh. Apologies, Countess, but 
you know how it is. You have a place investigated, said place changes. Ah, truly a bother. You'll be wanting a solution, I suppose. Preferably one that doesn't draw too much attention. Ah, there must be someone who can help you. Yes, but who? So you admit it? Ugh, I will never let this down! It's okay. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Darn right you won't. <clears throat> well, you've seen what you've seen, and there's no taking it back. Therefore, I must keep you under surveillance and ensure the secret is kept. Surveillance? That's right. And know this. No matter what corner of the world you run to, I will find you. There is no escape from Carrie. me at any time to demonstrate my flawless teleportation abilities. You do have a... what's it called? A map, yes? Just open your map, point to a destination, and I'll take you there in one perfect blink. Oh, and you should hold on to this. around, this ring will achieve more or less the same thing. Don't misplace it. Now I'll be able to keep an eye on him. Teleportation, huh? I wonder if it would help us cross that place we got stuck.
You will keep me safe, yes? Okie doke! Remember, Carrie? Perfection! What you get? What you get?
Remember, Carrie? Perfection. <laughs> Welcome to my establishment. How might I be of service? Could you show me your wares? Why, certainly. It would be my pleasure. I specialize in a wide variety of accessories, so I'm confident that something sparkly will catch your eye. Good day to you. Come again. Please do come again. Thank you. 
challenge! Okey <laughs> doke! That's what you get! Let's do this! Exercise. I just keep getting better. This is the grilled Tatsuva recipe! Oh, you delicious maniac! You tracked it down just for me! Oh, well, I suppose the war was due to find me eventually. Plus, this might even lead me to... her. Very well. I shall make for your headquarters so I might meet all of your culinary needs. You may call me Kurtz. If you need something cooked, sautéed, or braised, then buy bechamel. I swear it shall be done.
join us. Music to my stomach. You want me to use my rune lens power to help you cross this, yes? <laughs> yep, just pshoo us across like champs. Can you do it? Of course I can. I am perfection incarnate. Great. Distance, nominal. Direction, nominal. Landing point? Well, I can't see it, but let's assume it's nominal. Oh, Carrie, you are a paragon. Yeah, but are you like a thousand percent sure here? Because the last time didn't go so hot. I have never made a single mistake in my entire existence, for I am perfect. Is that clear? Yes, uh, ma'am. Fear not. I have a perfect mental picture of where we'll land. So? But you just said you can see. Okay, I'll be quiet. Get around and stay close. Despite my inability to err, I can't have you causing problems. You've got this, Carrie. I should probably mention that one blunder will cast us irretrievably into the space between dimensions. But fortunately, that is not going to happen. What? Uh, one moment. Could we just... A blunder. That's right. Where 
We're done here. Another flawless victory. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. No choice. Ha <laughs> ha! 
okay? Yeah, it's appreciated. <laughs> We've got this. <laughs> okay, I'll heal you. I feel dizzy. <laughs> Much appreciated! Uh, like so! Uh, fantastic! That doesn't even count as exercise! I just keep getting better! What do you make of that? I think it's coming this way! Doesn't seem to be hostile. Oh, <laughs> it's actually kind of cute.
Don't overdo it. Don't now. Quick heal. Thanks. You all right, Gar? Thanks. Expected. No surprises here. Victory. Experience is strength. 
strength! Quiet, everybody. Look there. Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and... If I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldric? Oh yes, and he rewards his capable allies most handsomely, that I promise you. <laughs> Music to my ears. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Dukes's own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Is something the matter? <laughs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. Conniving vixen! Who does she think she is? Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. <laughs> it's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows working with an Imperial spy. Interesting. But not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Here it is. It appears legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our buns out of here? Yeah. That scholar guy would know what to do with it. There can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Dukes Aldrich. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. We do indeed. So now, you, Chris, is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? 
Uh, will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Very well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? Do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon! The commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? Uh, sure. I guess. Here goes nothing. Well then, your majesty, have you made your decision? 
all of you, Chris awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Zaldric's research into new uses for rune lenses is making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Countess? Your Majesty, in light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. But... If anyone is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharist to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? Uh, personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so. Unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim, I suggest you take your seat! My proof is this contract sent by Duke Zaldric to Lord Harlan. It says, and I quote, Should Lord Harlan secure Eucharist's surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? Uh oh! Ah, no, no, you, you see, uh... It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. N no, of course not. You betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king and your kingdom. Everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. You have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened! But instead, we have you, Yuma! You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless! You are driving our kingdom to ruin! What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? Get him out of here! Now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I, I mean, your majesty? Now that you've seen the contract, 
are Duke's, Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear? The man has no intention of allowing the Shirith dynasty to continue. <sighs> Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <clears throat> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count on. And I will fight at his side. Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. Oof. Well, so much for that. I knew Yuma struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. <sighs> Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. Uh, the rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on! I bet there's rows of beds in there! You can spare one! Fine, but just the one. Noah. Are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Ariel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that. She relies on you. <sighs> How I envy that. Doesn't she rely on you, too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked, and she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case, but is it really me she was counting on? Or did she merely turn to me because I happen to be the person on the throne? I adore Periel, the way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. 
Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne, but I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now, at the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... That isn't true! That just isn't true! You aren't a bad king at all, Your Majesty! What? You are absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. But I will never live up to my father. There's wisdom in her words, Your Majesty. People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now, I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father. But you're holding yourself up to a monarch with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet, the youngster possesses something the veteran does not. A future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly, my king. Oh, Melrich. You Lynn? Oh, uh, forgive me, Your Majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? <sighs> of course I do. You will be a, a kind king and a great one. I I'm sure of it. Thank you. I will, or at least I shall try to. I cannot express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Mm -hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Duke Aldric? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. 
But who could Eucharist field who has any hope of victory against you? General Cassius is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also... Yes? I take to the battlefield for our Emperor. Despite the great pains Aldric went through to convince His Excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the Dukes. Oh, good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? You are not going to believe this, Periel! <laughs> Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving. Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Have you reached a decision, sire? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldrich, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty, it seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers, and General Goldwyn! The man is said to be invincible. I have always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I have ever been a coward. I acknowledge this. General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your Majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision, for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has His Majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, Your Majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. Folly from your fool of a king. Yet all the more reason to do it. Pitiful I may be, but I beg of you too. 
save our kingdom. But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the General and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. Your Majesty. Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Sheerith, Your Majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Sheerith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability. I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, Your Majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. And for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Dukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people, and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered, and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to His Majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. We'll be right beside you. Agreed. This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequis beat the muster drums.
I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Do it. A yup. Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet. They are certainly in for a surprise. Indeed. And this time, victory will be ours. You ready, Noah? I think Periel already took off for the palace. Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in! Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius, Melridge, Noah, pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Mm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! 
Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel. Time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yeah! To battle! What? A second force? Where the hell did they come from? Signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, Second Lieutenant. <laughs> The enemy has been sighted. Prepare to attack. Cut! Withdraw! A healing light to ease all wounds! No 
choice but to withdraw. yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Are we ready? Oh yeah, she's in a great mood today! Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. Attack! Retreat! Tell the others! Cut! Withdraw! Order. Now form up and prepare for the next! If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost. But to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! <laughs> Look at him run! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it! Now, we return to Haishan triumphant! Everyone is safe. 
Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah, even I've heard of the guy. So I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who were those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the Royal Treasury and more that was earmarked for the Studium and Archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. At these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. 
This is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes, that's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them. I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned as everyone's gathered at the palace. Battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time, Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, that's how to hold a keen edge. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! You'll find me in the kitchen when this is done. Preparing a victory Eucrisians, take heart from yesterday's victory, but do not take your enemy lightly, for he will fight with even more fury this day. How droll that they considered that a victory. They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe. For today, it will all come crashing down around them. In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor.
nothing to blunt the Empire's strength. The enemy is formidable. Don't approach them lightly. Tighten up, everyone! Been a while since I had to work this hard for my wage. is ours. Very good. We've got them running. We've got another tough fight in our hands today. Our objective is to drag it out for as long as we can while minimizing our losses. Powerful foe. We need just stall for time. We must find a way to turn the tide. Otherwise... Hold strong! Remember your contract! And remember that death in battle is the greatest end a warrior can ask for! You're my quarry now! There's no escape! Yeah! We did it! Enemy unit defeated. But stay alert. Everyone! You may have heard the rumors already, but His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Dukes Aldrich is the man behind it. I have had ample opportunity to witness the Dukes' tyranny, and have come to believe the invasion of Eucharist is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldric. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. Cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you. And they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's sane! I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. Engage the enemy! Give them all you've got! Enemy 
unit defeat. But stay alert. Enemy legion crushed. You did well. Pull the troops back and be quick about it! General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once! No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in! We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. But... but this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will, but I have no intention of fighting for your Dukes. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? My projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no fate. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Which means we can finish this here and now. One unit wiped out. We destroyed the enemy battalion, but don't let down your guard. No. But, but I was to claim victory here. Me. For the glory of Dukes Aldrich! Damnation! Is it over? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Yeah, that's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. 
You might be longer for this world than I thought. I have protected my kingdom and my king. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then... we won? Yes, Your Majesty. We won. That's... that's wonderful! Yes, thank you all so much! I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. Victory is ours! Victory! Victory! Come on, everybody! Victory! <laughs> yep, finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve. Might I gently remind all the braggarts present who the actual leader of the Alliance is? I'll let it go, Emir. Noah and his people fought well, and I'm very appreciative. My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh... Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Sane. This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat. Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? How? Dukes Eldrick is how! While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. 
Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of you, Chris, was simply a tidy way to displace the General for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes, well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda. My ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> so, what is it that you hope to gain from all this, milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No, my wish is far more modest. Morning, kiddo. How you doing today? Good? Good. We should visit the Great Hall. There's gonna be a meeting. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? And second, aren't you supposed to be in Eucris? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. I intend to do so to the best of my abilities. And sink a Not gonna complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. Wait, what? Uh, but I'm just filling in for you, right? I mean, I'm not a leader. Not a real one, anyway. Not a leader? The man who secured the use of this castle? Who forged an alliance with the tree folk? Who won the battle for you, Chris? Do try to show a little more confidence. 
neighborhood. I thought you liked to meddle. If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Ymir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. <laughs> this is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. Shh! Keep your voice down! I'd like to take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. no longer pursues a righteous path. But by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I have. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling and follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. Oh? I don't feel like my expression is any different. Because it's not. <laughs> I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps, if I may. Uh, he's asking you, kiddo? Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucharis, but yet remains a heavy presence in Gru. We must be prepared for when Duke's Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about Imperciak, the Shi'ar capital in the desert east of Eucharis? The uh, Shi who now? The Shi'ars. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors, who prize valor above all else. A fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the King's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Imperciark and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Checkpoint's northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town, the bottom. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. Now, as for the other way to make a difference. At this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Keslin for his assistance in this matter. We have already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldrich seizing power. 
We think it's better for us to go talk to them, since there are people and all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Thanks, Leon. The others will come around once they get to know the Lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Do everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. Want a little help with that? Please. If you need me, I'm yours. You got it. Just tell me how to help. It'll be fine if I'm with Wyler. You're safe in my hands. If I may be of assistance. Pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kessler, good luck to you both. Thank you. The rock your socks off! Try not to let you down. Oh, we might even let you up! I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. Pressure's on, Sane. Who's gonna finish first? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes. Fretting the details again. <laughs> uh, yep, some things never change.